Hey everybody. So, I thought I'd do a video update for you all. Um, so, as but most of you know, you probably, those of you who are my Facebook friends, you saw me post on Friday that I was in the ER. I noticed a really significant amount of stool in my, or blood in my stool, and so as of, so long story short, I'm here in the hospital, so you, instead of seeing my usual background of my concert posters and my wrestling posters, you're seeing me in a hospital bed. I had my mom bring my computer last night, or yesterday when she came, and um, today, and some of my supplies I need, and, um, it, and, and then today, I wasn't going to do it, but I've been, excuse me, I've been up since 5.30, um, today, um, she, I decided to have her bring me one of my, one of my boys, one of the little skippers. I told her, I told her which particular baby I wanted her to bring. I told her, I said, bring one of the babies that are, are laying on a boppy next to my pillow. So it'll either be Andrew or Blake and I will. Maybe I'll do another video later. It well, actually, it might not be later. That's why I'm doing it now to give you guys a video update. I'm in the hospital. I um I came in. Um, I had a blood scan yesterday, which revealed a lower GI bleed, and they're gonna do a colonoscopy today in a couple hours. And, um, they're to see where exactly it is. They do know it's lower, so. I just wanted to give you guys a quick up, uh, video update. Since my door is closed and nobody's coming in yet, so I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible. Yes, I can call it, I'm in the hospital blog. I don't know, but um, I I had a little trouble at first getting the laptop to um, connect to its to the mm. hospital's Wi-Fi, but I did it, and it's not limited. I'm connected, and so I can I don't have to worry about just yeah. being on just my phone. I can be on um on my computer. I asked my mom yesterday, I'm like, I need some more of my medical supplies that I use at home, and I needed some, I needed some pajamas, because these gowns are like, I don't know, they're like 10, t 10 sizes too big, and before you ask in the comments, why don't they get me um, a pediatric, pediatric pajamas, it's because this, I'm at Valley Hospital here, and which is about 10 minutes away. <gasps> Excuse me, I'm sorry, about 10 minutes away um, from my house, so we weren't going to go all the way downtown. I um, emptied my thing out, and I, I said, I told my, I showed my mom what it, what it looked like it's been nothing but watery blood there's absolutely no number two i know this is probably gonna sound gross but i just wanted to yeah there so anyway absolutely no number two in it it's all blood and it's watery blood and it's it is bright bright red still yeah, as of today, it's bright, bright red. They had me, um, 
drink two liters of the um the um go lightly stuff that makes you clean out your system before they do a colonoscopy and I tasted it and I was like I smelt it I'm like ugh and then once I tasted it I was like I couldn't remember if I had um if I had that stuff before, I don't ever remember having a colonoscopy before, but that every time I drank that stuff, it tasted familiar. And oh, there we go again. So yeah, I got I'm just sitting here in my bed. Um I needed a shower today, and so, look where they put my IV. I, I don't know if you can see it, but they put it, but I don't know if you can see it, but, um, let's see, they put it right here where the arm bends, so it's like right here where the arm bends, I'm like, what in the heck? And they've been in to draw my labs every, like, four to six, either every four to six hours or every eight hours. They drew it uh, at 10 o'clock last night, and then, and then again at... I think one thirty or two o'clock this morning, and then again at seven this morning, and so um, the nurse came in and said, or the or the la or the phlebotomist, the lab person, she came in and she she's like, I think we you are scheduled to have another lab draw and H and H again at noon. So the last one was at what did I say? The last one was at like ugh, seven this morning, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so five hours. And for all of you that don't know what an H and H is, it's the Hemoglobin, hemoglobin, which um, tells you how how your blood count is, your blood levels, like your red blood count cell levels, which and it also tells you what the anemia is in your blood, and and I can't remember, I can't really tell you on video what. A normal numbers are for um, hemoglobin levels, but it, it, they're really low. And so I had an extra run at dialysis yesterday. Uh, I went to dialysis like normal on on Saturday, and about halfway, half no half hour before I was done with dialysis, I noticed some trouble. And so, but I went into the bathroom while I was waiting for my ride, and that's when I noticed a whole lot of bright red, watery number two. And... And I didn't want to tell the dialysis nurses because I was afraid that they, they would take one look at that and and um, they would take one look at that and go, oh, you need to go to the hospital. So I didn't tell them, which I should have, because I wound up here anyway because I went in again and did it later in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon, about 2.30, almost 3, and I 
before flushing, I told my mom, I was like, come here and look. And she took one look at it, and she's like, oh, no, we're going. We're going. And I was like, I told her, why can't I just, why can't I just, like, keep an eye on it and see if it slows down? She's like, no, we're not taking any chances. That's not normal. Pack a few things because you know you'll be staying at least a day or so and so I was in the emergency room from about three o'clock in the afternoon and doing all the stuff and then by the evening time they decided that I needed to be admitted so in total I was in the emergency room from from basically 3 o'clock in the afternoon until about 8.30 at night until they brought me up here. And so, so I was initially, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry guys, you don't, as I don't know how many of you have had plenty of hospital stays, but as you know, you don't get much sleep in the hospital, so, yeah. Um... So, initially I was admitted for 24-hour observation, but 24-hour observation, so Saturday night was basically observation, Sunday night was trying to determine where the blood was coming from, which they did. They said that it was a lower GI bleed, so they're going to go ahead and do a colonoscopy this afternoon. And they've been just monitoring my blood levels. Like I said, um, they have an extra room here on this floor, on the third floor, that's equipped for dialysis. Not just one patient at a time, not a whole big unit like Secret Heart has. But, um, yeah, so I had dialysis here, and that was just an extra run because my normal days are tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and Thursday and Saturday. So, I was like, just my luck, it won't be a 24-hour observation. I'll be in here for a good three days, or four days, or five days, or, I don't know, but it's probably a, oh my gosh, I am so tired, you guys. So, I'm going to probably be in here for who knows how long for, until this bleeding is resolved they won't release me so um i talked to the gi nurse that i talked to last night and she said they're gonna do the colonoscopy this morning afternoon and then they're and then they will um oh i don't know they'll they'll um try to figure out what to, where to go from there, it's depending on what the colonoscopy shows. So right now, I'm in PO, which means no food or drink at all. Yesterday, yesterday evening, I they did start me on some a clear liquid diet, so I'd have something in there. But as of right now, as of midnight last night, I was supposed to be no, nothing to eat or drink after then, except for the go lightly, which is really gross stuff. It makes you, it basically, for those of you, I don't know who has had colonoscopies or has to drink that stuff for anything like that, but, but it basically is to literally wash out your system, so there's nothing in your system so your intestines and all that stuff in your colon are all cleared out so they can get a better picture of what's going on inside of me but here's the weird thing you know if you're having blood coming out of you as much blood is as, as much blood as I've had come out of me over the past couple of days even today and last night and early morning out. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Early morning hours, 
it's like um crazy and so they also have me on this this is a heart monitor because I have a heart murmur according to my primary doctor and the nurses here could hear it and I just and one of the nurse night nurses from uh, oops last night she came up with the idea to put it in one of these things that you usually put over your arm for an IV and that way because I gotta hold it because there's nothing to do so it's like when I get up I have to like when I get up I have to um hold it and if I have to pee I need more than two hands or I need more than one hand so so she came up with this perfect idea and with the weight of it it will stretch over time but it fits perfectly Oh, around my neck. I'm not gonna put it around my neck. Sorry about the messy hair guys. It's I mean I took a shower today and it's perfectly handy it leaves my two hands free for when I gotta get up and go to the restroom and Again, sorry about my hair you guys. I try I brushed it, but but with this IV where it's at right it it's basically right where the arm bends. So it's like, so when I try to go like this, see, that's what this bruise looks like. This this bruise happened at the Kiss Constant. So basically, sorry, I keep getting off subject. I'm like, I don't know, I'm probably delirious because I'm just so tired. I just want to lay down and oh, take a nap. Oh. So when I op go like this, I tried to put my hair in a ponytail, but it hurts to bend my arm. So, but she gave me an antibiotic, or not an antibiotic earlier. My nurse gave me, um, it's not Prilosec OTC, but it's something similar to that. Protonics, that's what it was. Protonics. She gave me some Protonics in my IV a couple hours ago. And I'm like, I'm like, good, because I think you should check it, because it kind of, it's a little painful, and there's a little bit of blood around it, but she explained that, you know, it's, it's, it's basically a little tiny catheter inside the vein, and it's a foreign thing in their body, so the body's saying that it's a foreign thing, and, and that, it doesn't want to be there, so it tries to push out the catheter. But she, it's it's staying a little bit when she first did a first flush on it, but initially, but she said that's pretty normal. Yeah, she said that's pretty normal, and so and I could feel the 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 flush going inside the bloodstream so that means this IV is still working which is good because I'm gonna need it when I do it they, and I just saw her the other GI doc uh let's see it's 10 oh my god it's 10 45 now um it's 10 45 now um so, um, she said within two to three hours, and I, and I seen her at, like, nine or nine thirty, so, I'm hoping my mom will get here before then, because I've talked to her, ugh, a couple times, sorry guys, I gotta get comfortable, I talked to her a couple times this morning already, telling her I needed a couple more things for supplies, because she said she brought them yesterday, but... I had to go look for them today when I needed them, and I'm not going to tell you what they are because that's personal. But, um, and I was like, um, I can't find them. I can't find the supplies in the other bags that you brought a couple clothes in. And so they had to go find the certain medical supplies I needed. Bye.